All right, so we said that Roger Crockett would have won the Northwest Speed Week, but right now joining us here on the, the Lucas Oil ASCS Sprint Car Show is the winner of the Northwest Speed Week, our buddy Jesse Hockett. What's going on, buddy? Oh, not much. We would have won it, too, if our front axle wouldn't have broke. So it's uh, we both had a bad night, so if you get rid of the bad nights, both of us, we still won. Oh, there you go. See there? I like the way you look at that. That's all good. Well, uh, you got to be happy going up there, popping off three wins in a row like you did. And, boy, that sure helps the old pocketbook a little bit when you travel out to the West Coast. Talk about your week. Yeah, definitely. You know, we came out to the first race at Medford. We'd never been at the track or or even seen the place or heard of it. We've heard about it, but we've never seen it or even knew anything about it. We saw just uh, put the setup on it and... Uh, Ended up pretty much dominating the first night. The car was really good. It's probably the best we were all week. And um, the second night we went over to um, uh, Cottage Grove and had uh, pretty much just momentum. You know, we we set the car up pretty much the same and everything was going good. Started sixth and got up to second. And then uh, battled up for Steven Steiner as uh, he spun out spun out there and that gave us a lead. And uh, we held off Shane Stewart and. Uh, we might have lost we Jesse. We might have just lost He's Jesse. He's on right a cell there. phone out uh, out on the west coast right now, but we'll try to re- make contact again yeah. with Jesse Hockett. Well, but you know, he was talking about uh, you know Cottage Grove mm-hmm. and uh, how much of an advantage he might have over the regular national tour regulars by them going back there this weekend. It's going to be interesting to see how he uses that as an advantage by winning at Cottage Grove here two more nights here this weekend i know the one thing that stood out to me when we were watching the video and uh, i'll bring jesse back on now he joins us on the show jesse we were looking at the video and, and let me tell you dude you're a daredevil man you were going three wide and threading the needle like just about nobody else i've ever seen before that was some pretty uh, intense racing that you had there where that cottage grove uh-huh yeah definitely that was a really cool track and has a lot of bank to it so you can I pretty much all anywhere on the track, and um, you know I, we could I could get in high and come off low, and uh, it's a, definitely a fun track. And uh, you know Steven Tyner had a pretty good lead there, and, and spun out, and I gave us the lead, but we held off you know the local Jay Cole and uh, Shane Stewart also for the win, so that was pretty cool. And then then from there we went over to um, Willem and Speedway, and we were just uh, pretty fast right off the bat. Started pretty far back in our heat again and came up to second but uh the draw definitely turned around for us the redraw and uh, we drew the pole and it was definitely the place you needed to be um kind of one of those things when you're hot you're hot and we uh redrew on the pole and ended up winning from the front row yeah all right so you're going into this weekend and uh you're going to cottage Grove. so do you feel that you might have a little bit of an advantage going into this weekend because of you going up there a little bit early uh definitely you know when you've been to a track and everybody else is just trying to get there for the first time and figure out what to do you've got a little bit of notes and uh know what works there and what doesn't and what to expect out of the track so it's definitely going to help us out and, uh right now we got quite a bit of momentum and uh we got a brand new car put together here after after that front axle getting us in the wall there and uh, we got a brand new car and it's uh it's gonna be fast i can i can tell hey that was quite a trip out there jesse what do you made it out there just in time for the first night's racing T- tell us about how you arrived on the scene there you didn't have much time to spare did you man that's kind of the story of your year isn't it so yeah cool? huh? it seems like whenever we do that we ended up running good so, yeah um, we had a long trip out and, and it was just a long drive for the three of us we took turns driving and and we made it i mean we we took uh about four hours to sleep there that last night and uh when we woke up we started driving and it just seemed like it was a little bit further than what we had thought we we had plenty of time but but the races uh, actually started like an hour earlier than what i thought um an hour like earlier than what they started back home i just assumed it was the same time but you know we we were starting the feature and it was barely dark so um they got started real early and but we made it on time and got the car ready to go and and it ended up working out uh, let's talk about your schedule for the rest of the year. I know I talked to you earlier this week, and it sounds like you're committed to running the rest of the na- national tour events. Your tenth in points. It looks like you got a little pat between eleventh and ninth. Uh, but is that the plans? I guess to to go ahead and run the rest of the national tour events. Yeah, we're gonna run the rest of the races. It, it pays really good, and and uh, I mean, I was running fun in the other series that I was running, but um, when you look at it um, dollar for dollar, um, the the Lucas Oil ASCS series is just, they got everybody beat, you know, for what you have to spend, for what you make. Uh, it's definitely the thing to run right now. And 
and that's what we're doing. And, and I look to pick off a few wins here soon. And, and it definitely, yeah, it uh, makes good good for the pocketbook, and uh, that's kind of what you got to look for. And I know you, Jesse, once you get to Knoxville and Oskaloosa, you're not going to miss a night at either of those two places, right? No, we're going to run like something like 25 nights in 30 days here coming up in August. So, How cool uh, we're is that? We're just getting all ready to go. And, uh, it's kind of hard to get ready to go on those big trips when you're out on uh, out in California and Washington and Oregon, but uh, we got everything pretty much ready to go before we left to come out here, and uh, we're just going to keep it going, hopefully. You're going to run the non-wing nationals after on Sunday after the uh, the 360 nationals up at Knoxville? Yeah, we're going to run that, and then we're going to run – basically everything you can think of we're going to ask lose it twice wing and non-wing and then we're on the knoxville 410 nationals and then we're going to come back and start the sprint banded tour sunday night at rapid city and we're going to run all the way until the end of lakeside yeah well what's it mean lakeside speedway to get back there you've won that race a couple times now and uh, you've taken a lot of money home it's ten thousand to win race oh and the pedal cars by the way that that's, yeah, that's uh, a pretty big deal isn't it yeah tom and asked van kierslick with vktc they're from about you know, five minutes from there. So anytime we can run there and uh, it's close to home for all of us, uh, it definitely means a lot. And all my family is pretty much from Kansas City. So everybody will be out there, and uh, it just uh, it makes for an awesome race. Uh, you know, there's a lot of pressure to run good, and, and we usually run good. So I'm just getting ready to get back in victory lane there. You know, we've been fast there every year with just certain little things. We've just been a little bit off and haven't done it. But, you know, as good as we've been in our non-wing car this year, I think we'll be, uh, be right there and, we bring home another pedal car. All right, with all these races coming up here, <laughs> what are you doing to occupy your time this week before uh, you head to cop back to Cottage Grove this weekend? Uh, we've already um, rebuilt the, we built a new car yesterday. Um, started took one day off and then uh, built a new car and uh, just been hanging out really. And uh, I'm racing tomorrow night out here in California, a 360 car here. And then after that, we're going back up to Cottage Grove. Yeah, talk about that real quick. Bent the front stub on that car. It's fixable, but you just can't fix it out there, obviously, on the West Coast. You've got to break out that new chassis, right? Yeah, just whenever I got in the wall, it bent it over about three inches. And it didn't it didn't kink anywhere or break anything, but, mm-hmm. you know, when you're this far away, I mean, there's nothing you can really do. So um, we, could, we had a brand new car that was ready to go, but I uh, kind of want to save it for Knoxville. So we're just going to put this other new chassis. We put most of the pieces off the other one on it. And we got another car ready to go now. All right, man. Well, get back in town so you come in here and sit in the studio with us. All right? We're, we miss yeah, you back kinda, here at the studio. Yeah, it's kind of weird being on this end of the line, but uh, I don't have to look at you and Kirk, so it's not too bad over here. Yeah, All right, right, Jesse. Nice talking to All you. Right. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. Good, good luck to you. All right, Thank buddy. you, Jesse. He's not going to have a whole lot of time to sit <laughs> what in the hell's studio he talking about lo- wanting to look at us? <laughs> What's he mean We're by ugly that? Guys. We're old, ugly men. Speak for yourself. It's going to be a while before I Jesse. I feel has... I'm old and ugly. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. It's going to be anyway. close to September <laughs> before Jesse has any time to sit in the studio with us. He's going to be racing every night uh, over the next month. 